Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Um, I'm here today with a quick video um, just answering some questions that I've received both on my blog and on my channel about how I create different size photos and then print them using my selfie because uh, a lot of times I think we think that the selfie can only be used for 4x6 photos that are just one 4x6 and um, it, while it's great for that I have a couple tips and tricks that will allow you to um, to get more use out of your selfie by creating different sized photos on one photo, like one sheet of photo paper. So <clears throat> I have two methods here. The first is using my iPhone because I think the reason that a lot of people purchase a selfie in the first place is to be able to print directly from their phone. The other, I will do a recording, a screen recording of my computer and I will show you the, uh, the process that I generally use. It's just my preference, but if I was to use my phone more and I have before, this is exactly the steps that I would take. So the first thing that you need to do is download an app called PicFrame. It's this one right here. And um, it's 99 cents in the iTunes store. I don't know if it's available for Droid or not. I should have checked. I'm sorry, but it's definitely available for the iPhone. And when you open it up, the first thing that you see are, it's very similar to the, uh, oh, what's the name of it? Hold on. The... Pick Stitch app, but in the top right hand corner, if you can see, I have they have different ratios. Mine is set to three to two, but there's one to one, three to two, two to three, four to three, three to four, sixteen to nine, and nine to sixteen. And if you click on the three to two and you select that one, that is roughly the equivalent of a four by six photo. So because I do a lot of three by four photos in my project life, I'm going to collect or I'm going to click on this second one right here and it opens up you can't really tell but there are two separate boxes so I can click on the first one I'm gonna do camera roll and I'm going to select this photo right here because this is one that I want to use in my project life for this week um, so it, it's cropped it down to 3 by 4 size and it's um, it's already on the left hand side so then I just do the same thing here camera roll Go back and I'm going to do this photo right here. And you can move it around a little bit. Then you just share it. I'm going to save it. And then I can go to the Canon app on my phone. I can click on camera roll, bring this up, select and then I've already actually got it in here so I'm going to deselect that one and you can see that it looks like two 3x4 photos on one 4x6 sheet so I'm going to close this select my printer which it's already selected and then I just hit print and it says printing um, I'm going to, I'm actually in another room filming this because it's very loud in my living room right now. So I'm going to run, grab this off my printer, and then I will be right back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here you have the printed photo. Um, I did choose the wrong one. I have two pictures like this in on my thing, but I accidentally chose the wrong one, which has my husband's head cut off. Um, so that's okay, but... Um, you know the the thing is is that it very quickly printed this and you can see the preparation marks on the photo um, that I'll tear off those are the edges that comes on the selfie paper but yeah it's that simple um, I could have resized things a little bit I lost some of the fox down here but none of that's you know detrimental to the actual printing it's just things that you need to pay attention to when you're in the app and you are getting your photos ready to print so here's this way. Now I'm going to switch over to um, my cam or to my computer screen and show you what I do on a on a routine basis for printing multiple size photos on my selfie. So all right, I'll see you in a second. All right, so I'm back with the second part of this video, and in this part of the video, I want to show you how I use Photoshop to do all of my. Um, my prints for my project life and this is for regular 4 by 6 and also to have two 3 by 4s or um, different square photos whatever so for this video because most of the requests have been how do I get two photos on one 4 by 6 spread to print on my selfie I figured that's what I would do so down here at the bottom um, I have two photos pulled up I have 
this photo from my phone, which was just a screenshot of French because that's what we're watching. And then I have this photo from my desk looking outside when um, a little bit of misjudgment. We were at school when a snowstorm came through. And uh, it was just a very, very um, white, wintry day. So these are just from my phone. I could use uh, photos that I had uploaded from my camera, but these two particular ones were ones that I needed for this week for my project live spread. And um, so I, just because I didn't want to waste paper, I decided to just go ahead with them. Um, so what I would do is I would just, you know, command new and open up a new 4x6 canvas, and you want the resolution to be 300, and make sure that your color mode is RGB. And um, just open that up. Oh, wrong size. Hold on. Six by four. There we go. So I've got this there. And because I like my uh, my photos to have a little bit of a white border around them in my album because I want them to be consistent, what I do, I played around and I tried to figure out a good measurement to crop my photos down. And the measurement that I came up with was 2.85 inches wide by 3.85 inches tall. And you want to double check and make sure that your resolution is still set to 300 pixels per inch. And then you just grab your crop tool and you crop it. And I wanted to make sure that the word fox was included in there. And then you just, you know, crop it down. Same thing over here. Crop that down. And then click it back over here and I can just drag my photos up into my uh, my blank 4x6 um, thing. And I'll start with one. What I do is I move it and you can either use your mouse, I probably should use my arrows. But I look at the left, the border over here because the one in the middle is going to be wider anyway because you're going to be cutting down it. So look at the top, the bottom, and then the left side for this one. And then I'm going to drag this one over <clears throat> move it over and look at the top and the bottom and the right hand side. So you can see that the border down the middle is the white space is much larger than on the ends but that's okay because I'm cutting straight down the middle. And then I can close out my pictures that I had on my computer. I've got this. I don't save it or anything. I just go straight to print. And then I have my printer selector. Something that I saw on one of the forums was that they couldn't get the um, the sizing correct um, when they tried to send it to their to their selfie from their computer. And what I've noticed sometimes is even though it says postcard, it almost needs to be reset. So if I because what'll happen is you'll press print and then it'll say that that paper size is not supported by your printer. Um, and even though it says postcard, so sometimes if that happens, I just click one of these other ones and then go back up to postcard and then you can see this blue line that's kind of where the crop's going to be and you just send it to your printer press print um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will be back to show you the differences in printing them from my phone and then printing them from my computer because the one from my computer is a little bit more uh, exact to what I would use and one other thing if you were to um, if you were to want to crop this down, you know, I'm just going to play it well. If I wanted to crop this down to a square photo and do like a 2 by 2 square, you would probably want to do like 1.85 again because you want to have room for that border. But um, you could totally put more than one. You could do four square photos here or 2 by 3 photos <clears throat> whatever. Do the exact same process. Crop them down to the size that you want, get them onto this, and then send them to print. And that's what I do. And to me, just because I'm used to working on my computer, um, it works a little bit easier. So, all right. Well, I will be back to show you the difference in the photos. Bye, guys. All right. So, just real quick to review, here is the uh, two photos that I did using my phone with the PicFrame app. And here is the ones that I did for my computer. So this one has the white border around the edges. If I were to I'll just quickly peel off the edges, you can see that this one has the border. And I'll 
and this one does not. So, all right, well, I hope this helps, and if you have any other questions, please just leave me a comment either on the video or you can head over to my blog where I'm going to write up kind of a detailed post about this. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I hope it helped and I hope it encourages you to use your selfie in different ways. Maybe if you don't have one, it maybe encourages you to get one. It's easily the best investment I've made towards my scrapping scrappiness so far. So, alright. Bye guys.